today we've got three different solutions here. They look the same green, but they're entirely different and have very different properties. So for starters, if we have a look here, this is dry ice. So it's the stuff we often see in labs and Frankenstein. And what's really interesting is this is the same stuff as the stuff that you breathe out. So it's the solid CO2. And what's really interesting is how these different solutions react when we chuck a bit in. So if we're going to start with this one here, I'm going to take off the lid and I'll get my assistant John there. He's going to help me. And we're going to chuck it in there and see what happens. Come in. Oh, oh. So this is like Frankenstein's magical lab bubbling over. It's what you're seeing is all the water vapor is being released. And now this green is the same green as a detergent. I'm so, careful here. Yeah. Quite a special reaction. You can see it's starting the same reaction at first, but then you can see it starts to bubble over. While that's still going, we'll go for number three. Now, number three is a little bit different because as you can see, it's turning yellow. That's because it's got universal indicator in there. A universal indicator tells us if something is acidic or basic. And so when you see it turning yellow, that's because there's carbonic acid in there. This is very important because carbon dioxide at the moment is lots of it and we're trying to reduce the amount we have in the, in the Earth's atmosphere. And so in coral reefs, for example, carbonic acid is eating away at all the coral because of the carbon dioxide dissolved in the water. And so we need to try and reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that we're consuming. 